this weekend uh, with my girlfriend and our two dogs and I wanted to record some footage, see how it was and then kind of chat over it because I'd like to do a bit more kind of stuff outdoors. You can see that's Beyonce the pug running against the bridge um, <laughs> and then kind of going back again. She loves going for a walk, she's crazy about them. Um, so this is in Suffolk, um, a place called uh, Stoke by Nayland, and uh, it was gorgeous. It was the first time we had been here, um, and uh, we found some amazing places um, as we went, which we'll show you as well. Um, that's smart. She loves to roll in the grooves. It's a favourite thing to do. Um, Martha is 11, Beyonce is 10. Um, they're both older dogs, but Martha struggles a little bit with her back legs. You can see they kind of fly out as she runs. Um, Beyonce, being a pug, struggles a little bit with her um, breathing. Uh, and one of the reasons for the original audio for you is because uh, Beyonce's breathing is so uh, loud that it um, doesn't really allow you to <laughs> record much. I actually plan on going back here um, in a few days' time to do some more recording and actually capture some of the um, uh, live sounds that um, it has got because it was stunning. Uh, the weather was beautiful. It's actually raining. Now, as I record this for this um, and I found that we found just some great places, as I said. Um, we're walking through this field uh, just to begin with. Um, I noticed these kind of fairy rings here, which are the kind of lighter patches of grass. I don't know if they're actually called fairy rings, but that's how I've always known them. Um, and uh, I believe. Um, like it's a type of uh, like fungal infection or something like that in the grass, which causes the middle to kind of like and then it doesn't on the outside or something. I'm not too sure. I vaguely remember that I could be completely um, on that one. Uh, I'm recording this with um, a Pixel 3A. Uh, mobile phone, so I don't know how the quality is going to be in the final render and everything. Um, I'm going to try and play around with some stuff. Um, it was recording in 1080p with 60 frames per second, which I felt was better than the 4K 30. Um, most people don't watch YouTube at 4K, and I think most people would prefer to have um, 60 frames per second. There's some poppies we found in the field. Beyonce's face gets very dirty as well as she runs around with her tongue hanging out. Um, yeah, so I have like a mic for the phone as well. And it does pick up audio really nicely. There was a fair bit of wind though. So we did get some uh, wind on it, but where it's a little bit more sheltered. Um, it would have picked up the audio really nicely if, uh, as I said, I didn't have a, uh, a pug um, running around, breathing heavily, uh, as she tends to do. Sometimes you might hear her in one of the videos snoring away. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, as I said, just a stunning day and a, a really lovely I'd been in a bit of a funk cup that day. Um, I think because I hadn't been out in a little, I think I hadn't fallen into a trap. And when I say out, I mean I'd been out, but I hadn't been out for a walk or out something new for a while. I was talking about this with my girlfriend, and we were saying that um, there's some little daisy things we'd kind of got into this, like, a bit, I guess, of thinking that we can't really go anywhere. We can. I mean, 
the restrictions in Canada are pretty, uh, well, fairly light right now. You still can't really see other people. You can't. You have to socially distance, etc. But you are allowed to go where you want, essentially. Um, and obviously, you're encouraged to go to outdoor spaces rather than indoor spaces. Um, but I don't know. We just maybe got into a bit of a thump. There's the bridge we went over uh, in the background there. Uh, as we kind of walk along. Uh, this path kind of follows a river um, around. It was a pretty hot day. I actually got sunburn. I do sunburn pretty easily. Um, you can see the river here. It's a really beautiful river. Uh, quite shallow in these parts. You can kind of see all the little stones as water trickles over it. Uh, really slight path that went straight in. It wasn't that hot today. I'd say it was about 21 to 22 degrees centigrade, which isn't crazy hot, but it actually did feel pretty warm when the sun was on you. And um, if you're a dog with uh, um, yeah, a full coat of fur, then it will feel quite good. <laughs> we were going to help Martha on here, but then we felt it was better than she tried like make it up herself. Um, there you go, she's alright. Uh, but yeah, it's a really stunning river. I don't know the name of it I've had. I probably should have looked that up. So, but uh, uh, it's, it was a really lovely walk. I love that kind of just shallow, um, you know, like trickle over the, the stones. It's beautiful. We'll see a lot more of them in the future, don't worry. Um, you can kind of see just down there, there's this almost this little kind of beach or bank um, there, which we um, kind of head towards. And it's really cool. Um, we're going along this path, but it's a little precarious, especially when you're holding a camera to try and do it as well. Um, don't worry, I, I don't fall. Um, into the water. And maybe that's a disappointment for some, I don't know. Um, also, my camera work is probably a little bit shoddy. I apologise. Um, this was the first time I'd actually really properly recorded anything. I picked up a, like a Joby mount, uh, this little kind of tripod thing that kind of folds into a grip. I'll do a video on it actually. And I have a road, um, uh, like a microphone go or something, which kind of sits on top and connects to the audio jack of the Pixel 3a. It was one of the great features. It's my girlfriend <laughs> going down. It's just quite a steep little um, like incline there. So I tried to grab hold of that tree, which had thorns on it, and pricked my finger, which actually hurt quite a lot. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so you kind of go down here, and then you'll come out to this beach here. Um, and it is really stunning, actually. Really shallow, kind of water. But I think quite nicely. I put down the, um, uh, the camera here. <laughs> you can see the dogs kind of running around. Um, we didn't stay here for too long, because we wanted to go for a walk, but, um, we uh, uh, do come back here for lunch. Uh, we wanted to obviously go for a bit of a walk first and then kind of come back on ourselves as we found this within the sort of first 10, 15 minutes of us going for a walk here. So, uh, yeah, I was tempted to just kind of leave the camera and come back and uh, just pick up some footage, but oops, that, that was not the best idea. There was. There wasn't that many people, people um, actually out and about uh, that day. On the walk we came across maybe four or five, um, but um, there's a local pub nearby called The Anchor where we went for a drink after. Um, a really lovely pub by the way, if you're ever in that part of the world. Um, and it was packed, uh, it, it was all outside. Um, and obviously all social distance table and stuff like that, but for a Monday lunchtime, which was when we went on this walk, it was totally packed. I quite liked leaving the camera here, just letting the dogs wander around, you can see them uh, as they kind of go. And here I am picking the camera back up. So yeah, we 
decided to go for a walk and then we'd come back and have lunch on that little kind of secret bank there. Um, it was really cool. Uh, I'm really going to go back there um, and, as I said, do some recording with audio and get the sounds of the river flowing and stuff like that. If the weather's nice now. I was checking the forecast and uh, it was supposed to be okay, but it's pouring down with rain right now outside and uh, it perhaps might not be quite as nice as I first thought this week. British summers, if you're not aware, are a very fickle thing. <laughs> uh, we had a lovely day of sun recording this and then we had a, f a lot of rain so you know that's the way it goes now we're back out into the more open fields that's really really stunning um as i said i wish i could have given you a bit more of the actual audio um i really enjoy doing different things like this um i think i hope anyway that the um the Pixel 3a gives good image quality. It seems that um, when I'm recording it's pretty nice and pretty smooth but um, and really it's it's the best quality I could get from a mobile phone while using an external mic because most modern phones don't have a 35mm jack um, in them, which you, so you can't plug in a, an external mic. Um, I guess there are other options, but for the equipment I actually already owned without having to buy any, uh, it was the best option. And as I was upgrading my phone, literally the day after I recorded this, I was like, I can use the Pixel 3a as a um, uh, just a kind of a little easily mobile camera, you know, rather than taking out a big. DSLR <laughs> or something like that, which I really felt a little bit conspicuous with my you know, grip camera and mic on it, but I would have felt even more so. I guess a GoPro would be the, the ideal kind of thing, which I would love to get, um, but they are pretty expensive and uh, I'd rather, I quite like um, recycling tech you know, using it for something, um, for then just buying new tech all the time, you know, getting use out of something, it feels really nice. As we came around this corner, we've got this, um, oh, it's pretty out there that has a gate and there's just no fence there. It's got this bridge here, as we go. There's a few different bridges, actually. Um, they seem to be fairly new. I don't know that was the case or not, but it didn't feel that way. Um, they also had very creaky planks as we went across, but you had the, um, the river here running a little bit slower than it was back at the little beach. Um, lots of fish in there as well. Uh, and uh, looking pretty clear actually, the water surprisingly for, um, you know, what it is. Quite impressed. Uh, we've got the dogs on leads because we came across another man with a dog. So uh, we uh, we put the dogs on leads. Martha is a little bit funny around other dogs. She can be very friendly or not friendly. She's a bit of a she's a bit of a funny dog. <laughs> I've actually got a video just on her as well coming up, like I did with uh, Beyonce. Um, kind of straight ahead of us here. I don't know if we can my camera work pick it up or not but is the anchor pub actually um and the uh the old town of stoke by Leyland. it's about um 15 to 20 minutes away from where we live drive currently um and it'll, when we move it'll be about 40 minutes away which is not terrible so we'll definitely come back here because there's a lot more for us to explore um we tended to uh, we tend to do walks in the local area, but sometimes.
sometimes it's nice to get out and about as another man there with his dog um, the lovely little um, dog and uh, it's nice to get out and about to different places you know um, and uh, just see something new I think it just keeps you a lot more interested then. you can get more past it different thing, here we go, we're letting the dogs off there, the leads, but um, you can often see like um, it, it keeps your enthusiasm up sometimes you see the same thing over and over and if it's absolutely beautiful um, Martha rolling around uh, even if it's stunningly beautiful and because you walk past it every day, you, you, you miss it a little bit. So I think it's uh, important sometimes to change things up. Um, but it was really stunning around here. I, I talked about it before, but the best thing I ever did was move out of London. Um, a lot of people seem to think that's a weird kind of thing. And absolutely, it's a case of if you're into, really. But this is way more my jam. Than, you know, keep in the streets of London. Uh, the history and uh, amazing buildings. Um, I, I just feel way more energised by you know, the countryside than I ever do from um, you know from being in London. So, or ever did. Um, so yeah. There was loads of butterflies out of as well. Um, as we go, you can see a few of them in. Uh, as we go, I do my best to try and capture some. Um, and I've actually planned to do a lot of these types of videos as well. To also encourage us, I guess, to try new places. And um, we may even do some kind of arts and comedy stuff as we go out. So whether we um, pick up some stuff as we go out we kind of plan to go at the weekend if the weather's okay to a place called Audubra, um which is on the, the east coast of uh, Britain in Suffolk and um, it's about an hour away from us and uh, pick up some uh, shells off the beach and maybe do some decorating of plant mobs and things like that with them fun um, kind of see the, the views there, it's very stunning, I don't know if my camera picks it up that well, I'll have to see, um, but um, yeah, it, it was just a lovely, um, lovely walk, and uh, yeah, we planned a few, a few different things, maybe half a series on this kind of stuff, I don't know if I'll be able to get that many videos up each month, maybe like one, two, tops but I thought it would make a nice change of pace uh, for everyone as much as I love playing video games I do love to actually get outside a little bit more as I was saying at the beginning I was in a bit of a funk in the morning no actual real reason why just sometimes you wake up like that but um, going out for this walk really lifted uh, my spirits a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on in the It's really easy to keep your head down, looking at your phone, and worrying about things that you can't control. And um, sometimes, you know, you've got to just get outside, you know, switch off a bit from the world, or do whatever it is that helps you to do that and uh, clear your mind a little bit I think of everything and um, yeah uh, I did and in the end I, I, I had a really good day and in the afternoon I had some work to do for my actual job from home and uh, I've just found myself being really quite productive and um, even you know edited together this from a lot more footage than I actually um, have here, um, which is pretty good. I can be a little bit, um, what's the word? Be a little bit, uh, 
uh, I can procrastinate quite a lot when it comes to actually doing things sometimes we all can can't we it's uh, the curse of a, a active mind I think sometimes um, but uh, I think you definitely go for this walk definitely help to clear my mind a fair bit um, you can see Beyonce there we call her BB for sure um, she has this lovely little this little kind of like waddle she had back legs and it's very jaunty um, part of the reason is she used to be incredibly overweight my girlfriend rescued her um, over a year ago now and she was just incredibly overweight and uh, as you can see her now she's very trim um, and uh, you yeah, know very happy but like she couldn't even walk up steps or anything like that she was so overweight the previous owners just obviously massively overfed her she loves food don't get me wrong like she every piece of food you ever have um and more but realistically she shouldn't have it um this tree someone had put like obviously attempted to do a um there was some like kind of hanging down from it which honestly didn't look like it would support <laughs> anything so i imagine they got very wet this is us back at the little creek um we went carried on for a bit of but i put the camera down because i wanted to actually enjoy the walk a bit more um as we kind of uh look over that this uh, this is the place where we came back and had lunch um we went off for a bit more turned back around again came back here um for a bit of lunch i think overall we did maybe an hour and a half or something like that nothing crazy as i said i had some work to do in the afternoon i had to be back home but you better see the dogs kind of coming and going around here we had some apple chunks for them uh, which is what she's eating gracefully as you can see Such beauty and grace in her. She's a pedigree as well, if you can actually believe that. But yeah, this was just probably one of the loveliest places I think I've ever had lunch. Just sat here. Uh, just in the middle. Yeah. And really, we weren't that far away from civilization, you know, 10, 15 minute walk. But it just felt like you absolutely on your own, you know, away from the world, and I'd like going out to kind of places like this, it just makes you, I don't know, it, just, it makes me feel good, because I'm like, no matter what happens, you can always go out for you know, you can always get out the side. This is free. It doesn't cost you a penny. Um, and I love that. You know, I think that's great. You can see BB and Martha just wander around. My girlfriend's um, chucking bits of apple in the, the river. I to encourage them to go in. It's hilarious trying to watch them work out how to get the apple I just, just couldn't, couldn't do it <laughs> in the end I think most of the apple ended up being fish food um, but yeah there was this lovely kind of willow tree just kind of like dangling over and this kind of like I don't know if it was natural or if someone's actually made this little beach type thing there was clearly a path to it although very kind of like out of the way one um, and I was thinking that maybe, well, most likely in the winter, the water probably rises to a point where this is not accessible. Um, but as I said, here in the, uh, there's the app, a piece of apple there, if you didn't see it, just on Dubai. Oh, and another bit. Um, <laughs> there's nothing quite like the joy in a dog some days as it goes after a piece of food is that makes you realise that you don't really need that complex things do you it's 
lovely. Because I think you have so much joy in them. They can be pains in the butt sometimes. I'm recording this voice over at five in the morning. Because Martha, unfortunately, is a bit of a bad belly. And she's been up a couple of times in the night. We live in a, um, uh, at the minute, we live in like a coach house. So we have a guard of, but we're on like the first floor. So we have to take her down to a guard. She can't just go out on her own. So she lets us know in no uncertain terms that um, she needs to go. There's Beyonce trying to get a piece of apple. <laughs> she just couldn't work it out. It's very cute.
notice that it looks good, but the cost of it is phenomenal. You're talking hundreds of thousands for you know, the real top cameras, the equipment, and then all the editing that goes into it, and all the microphone setups and everything. It's it's crazy money. It's you know, top level professional stuff. You would shoot this on, but you know, an iPhone is absolutely fine nowadays. I think. whatever phone you want to be using. The Pixels are just having pretty good cameras and I'm getting a 4XL which I'm going to do an unboxing with by filming it with my 3A which <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. But um, yeah, looking forward. I've done unboxing in the past just using webcam and it's not good to be honest. Um, the Logitech C920 is legendary. One of the dogs is now scratching on the door. It's five in the morning, and I think she's hungry. She wants to come in and uh, uh, get some food. She's wondering where her breakfast is. They don't get fed at five in the morning. I'm not feeding her now. They don't usually get fed until about seven, um, sometimes a bit later. But... Uh, shot of a butthole there as she wanders by. <laughs> I love dogs because they just don't give a shit, do they? <laughs> really? They just do what they want. Um, they went, they both went for a good paddle as well. Martha Morse, Beyonce is very um, wary of but, uh, she doesn't mind kind of going in a little bit paddling her feet. Um, she won't go much deeper which is good because being a pug she uh, would not be able to swim because she has such a flat face uh, I think it's like called brachiostaphic or something like that it basically means you have a flat face if you think about it if you're trying to swim and you have a flat face it's very difficult to uh, actually um, do that uh, she did nearly drown probably about I don't know seven, eight months ago. I'm being quiet now because she's tapping on the door behind me. <laughs> Do we have a breakfast? You might not be able to pick it up, I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, it was a lovely walk, a lovely day. this I think so I live in in East Anglia which is the, the east of England actually and um, it's I think it's just a stunning world to be honest with you there's lots of parts of the UK which are genuinely stunning um, Cotswolds Lake District you know Devon Cornwall loads loads more places I think I think the UK is it doesn't have the verticality shall we say of some places so we don't really have mountains in the UK but we do have some stunning locations um, and just you know as a countryside just to go and walk in it, it's it's lovely it's a very temperate climate you know I'm sure people think their own countries are stunning and they probably are to be fair um, uh, it is nice to have this kind of on your, your doorstep. Uh, and yeah, still have beaches and things like that in um, the east of England as well. Um, some quite famous ones, but uh, like Margate, places like that. Um, but yeah, it's just a, I just think it's a really nice part of the world. I think at some point we, we plan to live here for a good few years and then kind of see how things go. The general rule of thumb in the UK is that um, the further north 
farther you go, the cheaper things become. Houses in particular, obviously, this kind of vary on, on whether you want to be in a major metropolitan city or in the countryside. And obviously, yeah, different, but generally, like on the south coast, houses are, are pretty expensive, and then as you move north, obviously, London's the the absolute epicenter of crazy house prices. Um, but as you move north, uh, the house prices will generally get cheaper and cheaper, so we might find ourselves moving a bit more north uh, to get more bang for our buck, shall we say. But I think that's a good few years off. At the minute, we just want to get moved into our new house as soon as possible. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully that will all go well. <laughs> Beyonce having a little sneeze there. But yeah, I think this was definitely one of my favourite places I've found out and about. Um, and we came here on a whim. We were going to go to, uh, I just didn't quite fancy driving for an hour uh, that day, as I said, and being a bit of a funk, I just didn't really drive in the car for an hour. Um, so it's being 15, 20 minutes down the road, which is ideal. Um, uh, uh, we've never been before, we've worked out really nicely, and we'll definitely go back and do a bit more. It helps that there's a really nice pub that you can start and finish your journey at. Um, you know, come back, get some lunch, um, do that kind of thing. That's a really nice English, like, traditional thing to do, I guess. Uh, yeah. I think we'll finish up here. Um, as I said, I loved it, I hope you guys have enjoyed it.